Missy by the sea, sitting in the kitchen again. <laughs> I'm sorry I got so many Walmart hauls, y'all. But it laid at nighttime and laying in the bed watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I don't have cable anymore. I cut all that crap off. I never watched the, I've been not, I haven't watched the news in two or three years. I mean, unless something major happens, I'll flip over there and say, hey, baby. <laughs> I'll flip over and see what's going on. But other than that, I don't watch it. I actually quit watching in 2020. Sometime around November. <laughs> November, December, I quit watching the news. If that answers your questions, why I quit watching the news. If you could figure that out. <laughs> anyway, um, here we go. I um, try not to worry about anything going on in our government because there ain't nothing I can do about it. Not nothing in this world I can do about it. Nothing I can change. Nothing I can stop. Nothing. Nothing I can do about it. Even if I tried, I'd probably fail at it. So, <laughs> anyway, that's why I don't worry about it no more. I'm done. I'm done with all. I'm done with. I'm done with it. I'm 58 years old, getting ready to turn 60. I can't worry about that crap no more. I'm done. And especially with my husband gone now, I'm like, mm -mm. nope. Don't care. Do whatever you want to do. I don't care. I just go along, just go with the flow. Just going with the flow. You understand what I'm saying? It's going flow. I got me a nice big old cup of tea. But this is not McDonald's tea. This is just a cup I kept. This is my uh, Arnold Palmer tea. It's so good. Mm. I actually just finished it. Here's the jug. <laughs> so, mm, it's so good. It has no calories. I bought, uh, actually bought some more. I'll show it to you right here. But this is the, uh, I'm going to try to get off of diet drinks. Y'all. I don't drink a lot of diet. I don't know if I drink a lot or not. I used to drink a lot. I'm trying to cut back on it. But this right here don't have any. This has got sugar in it. The Arnold Palmer Light. Now this one's diet. See right here? This one was diet. This is no calories. But this is light and it's got sugar in it. But uh, half the can has got 80 calories. So if I make me a nice cup like this with half this can, it's a big can too. It'll make a nice cup of drink. It'll only be 80 calories, no aspartames, no sucralose, no phenyl phenotropics, or whatever them things are called in there. And um, I can drink this in water. And if I want a soda, I'll get me a real soda, a real Pepsi or Coke. You know, because I like Pepsi and Coke. Pepsi my favorite though, but I do love Coca-Cola. So I got one of them, two of them, three of them, four of them, five of them, six of them. So that'll last me a while. Yep, that'll last me a while. And uh, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, six, twelve, be twelve times. It's like buying a twelve pack. These were eighty-eight cents a piece. So I like bought a twelve pack for what five dollars and sixty cents, something like that. So, I thought that was a good buy, a good deal. And I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to get off of those uh, phenotropic things, phenol, whatever it's called, and aspartame and sucralose and all that. Um, I already used the uh, Pure Via uh, sweetener, which is um, Stevia, and it doesn't have any of that, um, oh, what is it? Some kind of something that's in Stevia, but this don't have it. So, I'm safe with my, my coffee sweetener in the morning. It's, it's okay. So anyway, let's keep going. Oh my, yeah. Look, I'm really not a hypochondriac. Grape jet, grape, <laughs> because I don't care. Uh, grape uh, tomatoes, see yeah, they look like grapes. <laughs> I've been wanting some of these to go on salad. I got on this salad kick. I'm on a salad kick now, y'all. <laughs> yeah, no, I am far from a, uh, a person that worries about their health, trust me. I ain't been to my medical doctor in over a year. And I can't get to see my heart doctor until October. <laughs> so, whatever. I probably won't go then. Um, I got me two red onions. <laughs> two more red onions, because I just love them. Oops. Two more red onions. Um, two bacon potatoes. They finally got some. 
two bacon potatoes. I still got my sweet potatoes right over. Let's see, where are they? Let me put my glasses on. I just saw them. What are they close to? You're on top of the, uh, uh, right there. You can't, you're right there. <laughs> I'm not good at pointing with this camera thing. Rocky, don't you want to come say, hey, baby, I got you something. Look here. I got you a prize. Look, look here. Look, look, got you. You don't know what it is. <laughs> I got him some more of these fancy feasts. Boy, he loves these things. Oh my gosh, he makes noises. Like, <laughs> kind of noise. That's not what it is when I get one of these ready for him. Oh my gosh, he just loves them. There's a little thing like you lick. You can hold it and they can lick it, but I, I don't do that. I just put it out in his little pan. Or I put it out in a little dish like he, when he eats his cream cream out of in the mornings. This is chicken, and this one's uh, tuna in a demi glaze. And it's in the little tubes. I guess I'll show them to you. They're not that cheap. They're right before I'm in here. And it ain't much in this little pack either, but I tell you what, he loves whatever is in here. <laughs> that gravy stuff, I guess, is what it is. I don't know. Wow, he's crazy over it. Rocky, would you come up here and see me, baby? Quit messing with the bags in the floor down there, huh? Come up here and see me. Come right here. That's a good boy. Come on. Yeah. Come here. You have to go. You can get up. Come on. You can get through. Come on. I got you some of these. Look. <laughs> he's over looking at me. Okay. I got me some chicken to go on my salads. This is that uh, grilled ready Tyson. I've had this before. It's delicious. This is the fajita kind. It's got a good, you know, like, kind of like a taco flavor. But I don't, I'm sorry I don't have much good light in here. It's dark today and it's raining. And I got my blinds over there, uh, over there by the dining area. I got the blinds closed. Mm -hmm. Yep, I bought some. This is really good. This is, uh, it's frozen. I thought it was supposed to be fresh. It says fully cooked, boneless, skinless, smoked. I thought it was supposed to be fresh, but this feels like it's frozen. Yeah, keep frozen right there. Yeah, it's frozen. See how the strips look? They are so good, y'all. Tender and taste so good. They sure do. Uh oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> Did I bang your head? Did I bang your head? I'm sorry. <laughs> Rocky, come here, honey. Come on. Come right through here. That's a good boy. Come up here. It's up here. All right. You'll come right here and show you. But, oops, there it goes again. She knocked it. He knocked it over that time. Stupid tripod. <laughs> Gotta have a little bit of excitement around here, don't we? Huh? A little bit of excitement. Don't jump down. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Stay right here. Whoa! Uh, okay, I'm back together. Really, I am. He's <sighs> a disaster today. <laughs> I bought me some spinach and green uh, salad mix. Spinach and spring mix. I love this stuff. It's so good. It's like eating, eating, I don't know, grassy leaves or something. But I love it. Okay, give me some of that. And got me some imitation bacon bits. This stuff's wet where it was raining. The guy, I guess he probably got drowned in bringing my groceries. I hate that. And we'll go in and adjust my, I'll just go in and adjust my tip and give him some more tip. That's what I do sometimes. If I have if I have heavy waters and things like that, I'll give them a bigger tip. All right, um, mayonnaise, real mayonnaise, it's craft. I bought the craft this time. I'm kind of getting tired of that other stuff. I don't I don't care. It's okay, but it ain't craft. I can tell you that. And it's it's not Hellman's. They had this on, on like a special. Uh, this was cheaper than Hellman's, cheaper than Duke's. So I went ahead and got this craft. But, uh, yeah, those store mayonnaises are okay. They're kind of like the mayonnaises they give you at 
restaurants. They're okay, but like I said, it's not this. Okay. Another bacon bit. Wet. Okay, and I got me some more ranch. I have not used my other, all my other ranch yet. I just um, bought another one. The other one's way still full. I had two salads over the weekend. Over last weekend, I made me some spaghetti sauce. I think I might have put it on the end of last video, or I might put it on the end of this video. I'm not sure about spaghetti sauce. Yeah, I bought me another one of these. And I bought me another one of these because y'all, <laughs> this stuff right here is delicious. Oh, I had to have another one. I might have bought two. I did buy two. Y'all, when I like something, I go after it. Got two of these. It's Catalina dressing. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Have y'all tried this? Oh. I don't know if this is like creamy French or what it is. But I couldn't find another another dressing called Catalina besides the craft one. So I thought maybe Ken's might have had one, but they've got one that's like that says creamy, um, French. And I don't know if it's the same or not. But this stuff right here is the bomb. The bomb. And I bought I bought my all time me and my daddy's all time favorite dressing. <laughs> he loved this thousand dollar dressing, y'all. He was a good old daddy. He worked hard all his life. He was a good daddy. He provided for me. That's all I know. And he was a good daddy. And I miss him. Yesterday, 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 father, yeah, yesterday was Father's Day. And, uh, daddy was funny. He was a good man. He was humble. He was strong. He was I guess you could say he could, he could be not mean, but just tough. I guess you could say he could be good. He could be tough when he needed to. <laughs> but yeah, me and him loved his stuff. <laughs> and um, my mama, when I was younger, she never did use. I mean, a little kid, like growing up, like five to ten years old, something like that. She never did buy a uh, dressing from the store. She made vinegar and oil dressing at home and tossed a salad with it. It was good. Everything my mama made was good, so. Y'all, you know, I bought me two more cucumbers because I've been eating these two, a half one at a time. <laughs> Y'all know, right? But these are so good. I love these. I think they taste like watermelon in a way because they got so much, they got so much, you know, fluid, I mean, water in them. And just something about them reminds me of watermelon when I eat one. Ain't this that weird? Do you, do you taste watermelon when you eat cucumbers? I do. Rocky, you okay, babe? Well, he knocked this thing over a while ago, y'all. I thought it was my lazy, my glass lazy Susan. But it wasn't. It was the wooden, the wooden tray that I've got that's like a cutting board. And it's laying up here on the floor, right side up. Scared me to death. Oh, oh boy, here we go. And I bought some more uh, grilled chicken. This is blackened chicken. I know this is fresh. This come out of like the meat department. And I see that crusty stuff on it. See crusty stuff? I'm trying to get into light for you. I'm gonna try this. This one's called John Souls Foods. I'll let you see that for a minute. John Souls Foods, black and chicken. And just reach when you make your salad, just reach in there and get you some of these and uh, cut them up in little chunks and put them on your salad. And this is eight ounces. This will make me probably three salads. Yep. No added hormones or steroids. Thick, juicy breast strips. I was going to buy me some breast and cook them. I was like, I ain't doing that. I said, I am not doing that. When I get in here and cook, I feel weird. I feel like... I feel like I'm doing it for nothing. If that makes sense.
okay. I just feel like, you know, <clears throat> when I cook like that, that, like I made that pot of spaghetti sauce the other day, and what did I eat out of it? Maybe a cup full, rest of it's in the refrigerator. It's not worth it to cook like that for me anymore. So I'm just trying to figure out things that I can eat that, um, they're just for me. So, anyway, I ordered a dozen of jumbo eggs and they sent large. So let's check them out, see if they're all stuck. <laughs> yeah, I like to check them, right? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, and none of them stuck. Look at little nitty. That looks so small compared to the ones I usually get. But uh, that's okay, I can eat these. These are just perfect. And these cook faster too, <laughs> when I boil them. So anyway, that's all I got from the store. And um, these rainy day, rainy and gloomy days kind of make me sad. But what can you do about it? Nothing, nothing you can do. But deal with it the best way you know how. But anyway, you guys have a wonderful week. I'll see you next week or next time I get on here. Um, I'm gonna try to cut back on the Walmart orders. Uh, this may be the last one for a while. I'm gonna start trying to do some other things. Um, I'm gonna go out shopping. I'm gonna go uh, toy hunting. I'm gonna go uh, looking for Hot Wheels cars. <laughs> get get back and uh, show y'all some of my, my Funko Pops and um, maybe, maybe do a little bit of cooking. Um, you know, if it ain't nothing, making a pot of grits. Y'all like grits. Y'all see me make a pot of grits. <laughs> I love grits, and I can make them good. If y'all say, ooh, I don't like grits, well, you should eat the ones that I cook because they are so good. And they're creamy, and they're not gritty, and they're just, oh, yes, they're so good. Rick loved them. I'd make him a big old bowl full of them, you know, and he would just, he would just, that would be all he'd eat. And he'd, he'd say, honey, I'd say, what? He said, would you make me some grits? I'd say, yes, babe, I'll make you some grits. And sometimes he'd say, honey, how what? Will you make me a big bowl of oatmeal? Yes, honey, I'll make you some oatmeal. He loved to, to eat that creamy stuff. He said, will you make me one of those good, cold, creamy chocolate pies with the whipped cream and the chocolate pudding and stuff like that? And I'd say, I sure will. <laughs> he loved those kind of creamy, creamy things. So, anyway... And he liked those, um, Mrs., uh, those pies that you get at the grocery store, those coconut cream ones that are kind of thick and they got the cream on top. He always liked to get him a coconut cream pie at the grocery store. <laughs> I don't think he wouldn't ask me to make one of them. <laughs> but uh, I'd have probably tried if he'd asked me. Because uh, I love to, to do things for him. So, anyway, I love y'all and I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, y'all, I just wanted to show you what I fixed. I couldn't make up my mind whether I wanted chili, if I wanted spaghetti sauce, or if I wanted tacos. So, I made all three. Okay? This has been sitting here for quite a minute. But it is chili. It is spaghetti sauce. And it is taco meat. If I could just, you know, just look, drain it through this thing. You can make taco meat. I put a whole pack of chili mix. I put a whole pack of um, taco mix, tomatoes, kidney beans, and I can eat it any way I want. And I'm going to fix me just a little bit, I guess, for tomorrow. And then I'm going to freeze the rest. Yum, yum.